Hi everyone. Well, you might notice the background here. I'm at my friend's house and he has a cat. Why am I recording another cat video? Well, I recorded a video responding to a disturbingly common Muslim argument claiming that the Quran must be miraculous and from God because a cat will not walk on it. So I tested that over and over again, and it took me on average about half a second to two seconds to get a cat to walk on the Quran each time. You're kidding. Oh my goodness. Look at those Qurans. But there are people who want to defend this absurd claim. So they replied in hundreds of comments that the texts I was using weren't Qurans. <laughs> I have right here the text I was using. Um, here we have a variety of Qurans, which they say weren't Qurans, they were dictionaries. So I heard dictionaries, they were phone books, they were random Arabic books, but they weren't Qurans. Oddly enough, those same people would complain that I set the Qurans on the floor. I'd complain if they're not really Qurans. But uh, let's go ahead and flip through some of these books to see what they actually are. Notice that it says the Quran. That's odd, considering it's just a dictionary. You can zoom in on this and see it in the original video. Arabic text with corresponding English meanings. And what you have here is, you have the English translation over here, and you have the Arabic. This is the full Arabic text of the Quran. You have the entire Quran from Surah 1 all the way to Surah 114 the entire Arabic text of the Quran. Here we also have the Quran. We have the full Arabic text and English translation, some notes and so on. So, Arabic text of the Quran, Arabic text of the Quran, Arabic text of the Quran. This is the full Arabic text of the Quran. Here we have the Noble Quran, odd title for a book that's simply a dictionary. Once again, we have the English text and we have the Arabic text the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet, for some reason, it's not a Quran, even though it contains the full Arabic text of the Quran. Full Arabic text of the Quran. Lots of English translation, lots of notes, you have introductions, but you also have the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet we're told that this isn't the Quran. So basically you have two different kinds of claims. You have one, people saying that these are just dictionaries or, or some other random text. I hope you see at least that these are uh, Qurans here. Uh, but then we have another claim, which is that if any translation is added, it's no longer the Quran. So if you have the full Arabic text of the Quran and you add a word of translation, suddenly you have just destroyed the Quran. It's no longer the Quran. Now, why is that odd? Well, the word Quran means recitation, right? It's something to be recited. You write it down in the text because that's the text that is to be recited. So if you have the text in Arabic that's to be recited, then you've got the Quran. But according to our friends out there, it's not the Quran if it has an English translation beside it. So notice, if you were to say that you have the entire Arabic text of the Quran memorized, if you went to classes and memorized the entire text of the Quran, if you know the translation for any one of those verses, you don't have the Quran memorized because you've also got another language in your mind. See how silly this is? But I aim to please, my friends, and so we're going to put this to yet another test. Our friends say that these Qurans are not real Qurans because they're not just in Arabic. If they were only in Arabic, then we could actually have ourselves a little test. Well, we're gonna go ahead and have a little test here. I have a can of cat food. Remember, that was the original claim. The original claim is that a cat will not 
walk on a Quran, step on a Quran for food. We're going to test it. Will a cat step on the Quran to get to some food? Let's test it with some Arabic text. So we have here a variety of Arabic Qurans. And we have some delicious cat food. This cat is already stepping on. You want that? Hey, look, where's that cat stepping? Where's the cat stepping? What is that? Very disturbed at how quickly that cat stepped on the Quran. And it's currently stepping on multiple Qurans. What's wrong with this cat? What's this book? You tell me what this book is. What is it? Because one comment I see over and over again is, just because a book's in Arabic doesn't make it the Quran. Well, that's true, but we're not talking about any book that happens to be written in Arabic. We're talking about what this book is. What is this book? What is it? If we flip through this book, what is it? Is this Fifty Shades of Grey? Is it Huckleberry Finn? What is it? Is it The Adventures of Tom Sawyer? What is this book? How about food that's not fancy at all? What about regular dry cat food? Regular dry cat food. Come on. Come on. Are you willing to walk on that Quran? That cat is walking right on the Quran. Wasn't that the claim? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because people also said that because I had more than one Quran there, that somehow disturbs the Quran. Come here. This cat is walking all over that Quran. That was the exact challenge, ladies and gentlemen. The exact challenge was whether a cat would walk on a Quran. We did that with multiple Qurans, and now we have this cat standing on a Quran for food. But, but weren't we told that that's what a cat would never do? Nice, delicious, dry food for you. Hey, what are you doing walk? What are you doing stepping on the Quran? What kind of monster would step on a Quran? Because I've heard from thousands of Muslims that a cat will never step on the Quran. And you, you, know, what the, you know what the accusation here, again, will be? That I've simply put a Quran cover on a book that isn't actually the Quran. So, once again, what is this? Is it a phone book? Is it a Bible? Is it the works of Shakespeare? Is this Romeo and Juliet that I'm flipping through? What is it? Those of you who are honest, be honest about what this is. You've told me a cat will not walk on it. What is it all the way through? Is this a phone book at any point? Is this some other book at any point? What is this book? This cat is a savage. What kind of savage are you? What kind of savage, untamed beast would be trampling all over multiple Arabic Qurans? And, oh, we know what the claim is, don't we, cat? We know what the claim is. These aren't really Qurans, are they? No. No, these aren't really Qurans. These aren't really Qurans. I'm just making it up. These are phone books, ladies and gentlemen. Phone books. This cat is not human. It feels no pain. It can't be reasoned with. There is no incentive known to human beings that will convince a cat to walk or step on the Quran. Nothing will do it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing will do it. So obviously, this must not be the Quran, right? This must not be the Quran. There's no way this is the Quran. No. You'll never do that again. You'll no, no, all over the Qurans. Just for a piece of string. <laughs> These must not even be Qurans.
Oh, no, they are. Oh, no. But I heard that cats will never, ever in a billion years walk on the Quran as long as it's in pure Arabic, which this happens to be. Oh, no. I'm so shocked. It's such a shocker. Walking right across the Quran. Look at that. Come on. You want to get brushed? You want to get brushed? Why would you walk on the Quran just to get brushed? This cat will stand on the Quran just to get brushed. Stand here, right in between. Stand anywhere but on these Qurans. Why? Of all the places you could stand, do you have to just stand on the Quran? I'm very confused now. This cat is simultaneously stepping on three Qurans in the same moment. All right, I'm going to have to pull this out from under you just so everyone can see what book we're dealing with here. What is this? What is this book? Is it an English translation? What is it? There are plenty of places where you could stand. Why are you standing directly on the Quran? Of all the places in the world, you could stand right here. You could stand right there. Stand right there. Why are you standing right here? I'm doing everything in my power to convince you to have more respect for the Holy Quran. Now she's just attacking the Quran. It's a Quran massacre. What are you going to do to that Quran? Huh? There's nothing there. You're just pawing at it. She's seeking knowledge. She's seeking the knowledge of Allah. Come on, turn a page. That would be awesome. That cat is actually slicing up the Quran with her paws. She wants the knowledge. She wants the knowledge from Allah. She feels the power of the Quran. She seeks the truth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She wants the knowledge. She wants all the knowledge of the Quran. She's devouring the Holy Quran. So a few weeks ago, I recorded a video putting to the test the claim that a cat will not walk on the Quran. I used Qurans like this, which contain both the Arabic and the English. Why did I use texts that contain both the Arabic and the English? Because I know what kind of people are making the claims that a cat will not walk on the Quran. And I know that if I put just Arabic text on there, they'll tell their non-Arabic speaking friends that's not the Quran. So I used Qurans that contain the English translation so that people would know these are Qurans we're dealing with. And what was the response? Well, they're not really Qurans if they contain the English translation. So in this video, we've gone with purely Arabic Qurans. And we saw it was no more difficult, not even slightly, to get a cat to walk on a pure Arabic Quran than it was to get the cat to walk on a Quran that contains the English translation or to get a cat to walk on any other book in the universe. What does this mean? Well, for most people like me, it doesn't mean anything because it never occurred to us that a cat will not walk on any particular book. Cats don't know those kinds of things. But for those of you Muslims out there who are claiming this as your proof, this is how you know that Islam is the truth. A cat will not walk on your book. It must be the word of God. Well, a cat walked all over your book without hesitation. What's that mean? Following your reasoning, it should tell you that the Quran is not the word of God. I suggest you start looking for another religion, particularly one that doesn't rely on such stupid, stupid arguments. This cat is not human.